to show us not one, not two, but three ways to upgrade a basic lampshade into a statement design piece is Paige. And I know if there's anybody to do this, it's you. Well, it's I'm so telling much you. fun. Well, first of all, if you go into any of the high-end stores, they all have these really fun, they do. kind of eccentric uh, lampshades. Yep. And they're all, they come with a very large price tag yeah, as exactly, well. Exactly. So, and with the... With how much I move and I stage, I always end up having a lot of lamps. The shade kind of goes in and out of fashion, but this is one where you can like you can make any of these three by stuff that you know lampshades you already have at your house. And you talk about the stores and these fancy lampshades. These look fancy. These look store bought. I mean, they really do. They you. do. See? Not that they I would so expect anything less from you. Let's yes. start with the first one. It's the ruffle. The ruffle lampshade. The ruffle. How, yes. How do we how do we achieve that look? Okay, this is the easiest one to do of the three that I'm going to show you. Is it? But it is the most time consuming. So I say throw on some Hallmark movies, get the kids involved, because it's gonna take you a little while, but it's so pretty at it's the end. It's so worth it at the end. Look yes. at this. So okay. what you need what to do, do is take several um, square or squares. What are these? They're called circles. Thank you. Circles. Okay. So what I did, I put a glass around it and I just drew and then I cut. Okay, perfect. Um, easy enough. You easy find enough. a glass that's good, that's a good size. And you can kind of see I'm not like exactly perfect, but it doesn't matter because what flower petal is and that's what we're going to mim mimic right now. Okay, and so what I'll fabric have, are we using here? It doesn't matter what kind of fabric. You know, and I was thinking this too. I just used a cotton, but we just celebrated my dad's passing. It'll be four years that he passed mm. away. I still have some of his shirts. It would have been so wonderful to take one of his jean shirts and do this. So you guys can do that at home if you have some fabric that means a lot to you. If you don't, go down to Joanne's, get yourself what some. An interesting idea. Do It'd be really so fun. Every time you turn the light on, you think of your dad. Oh yes. I like that. Okay, good. So okay. How do we do this? Am I doing it along with yes, you? Yes, I'm gonna have it's you do this. Oh, I know. Okay, so actually, I'll do yours first. Okay. You just make a line going down okay. the middle, and you're just gonna fold it over. Okay, on that line. On the okay, line. Okay, so the first fold is going on that glue line. Yep. You're trying to match it up as best you can, but again, like you say, it doesn't have to be super doesn't perfect. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Then I'm just gonna give you a little glue right in the middle there, okay. and then you fold it again in half. Fold it okay. again. There we go. Okay, like so that. if we left it like this, it'd be pretty flat. But okay. what you want to do is stick your fingers within the little okay. folds. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So you can kind of see we're we're almost opening. It's like opening a rose petal. Right. You put it in there, then you hold that part, add a little bit of glue. Okay. And Wait, nope. Now uh, you got to put your fingers oh, through there. Yep. And then we're doing put this. so well. You were doing so well, and I'm just going to stick so that well. there. Because you don't have a lot of time when you put on uh, hot glue. Okay. So here, I'll do your, look at you holding it so professionally. Oh, thanks, Paige. All right. And then stick it okay, as great. close to the other ruffles gotcha. as possible. Gotcha. So you just get, get it in there and then yep. you continue just like that all the way around. All the way you around. This fantastic uh, ruffled fi uh, finished piece. Exactly. All yes. Right. And you want to go as close as possible because you do not want to see whatever's behind it. All right. It, all out right. with the old and in with the new. It looks very riche. Doesn't it? Very fancy. Very okay, fancy. let's move on to the next one. This is a burlap. Okay lampshade kind of makeover we've got going yes. on here. Yes, okay, so this is just a regular lampshade. I love this shabby chic design down here. And I actually do in my house have a Paris themed room. Do you? Yes, I love <sighs> theming. But this is a way to take like something that was so fun, it had the ugliest uh, lampshade on it. But you can do this with any lampshade that you have. You take out, um, take your, it looks like burlap, yeah. but it's not. This is actually just fabric. This is upholstery fabric. And I would say oh. don't go to an upholstery store because they are gonna really overcharge you. You literally go to Joanne's go to the upholstery section they okay. always have half off sales uh, and that's what I did so and it's not really that thick but it'll give that burlap look and it'll look really cool gotcha so like Another, a canvas or a linen and things like exactly. that you can use instead yes. of the burlap okay great and what I would suggest too is finding a lampshade that is straight up and down you see that it is straight up and down because if you did have something that was tapered this is how you would have to put it so the bottom would be on okay the top would be folded top would be folded Top would be folded, which would be great. So you have some pleats it, in there almost. If it wasn't writing, but since we're using some writing, yep. I say pick a lampshade right. that goes straight up that's, and down. That's uh, yeah, that's cylindrical. Yes. So Beautiful. you can see that I just glued it to the outside. I went about three inches over, and see that we're hiding the ugly gold that it was. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna add some hot glue. And you just made little slits, little cuts yes. where sort of the skeleton of the lampshade is. Right? Oh, that's the perfect supports. word for it. Yeah, the little lamps. Supports. We were trying to figure out. I know. It's the skeleton. <laughs> it's the skeleton. I, just, just in time, I came up with it. See, and you don't really, because this will be hidden, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Because when you go back here, oh. You don't it see looks, it, but I do like perfect. the way that you wrap it around the top, so it does really give it that nice finished look. Yes. And by the way, you matched it so nicely with this antique lamp as well. I love. That. Nicely done. And I have to tell you, it was cheap. It was. It well, was cheap, cheap. Uh, I mean, very 
inexpensive. Inexpensive. Yes. Okay. Works. So for the third one, I really thought outside of the box, or I should say outside of the shade. Yeah. The lampshade. So I've taken a regular lampshade. <laughs> I've taken the material off it. I took a little bit of a pulse, or this is um, like embellishment trim. Yep. Um, hot glued it on, and then check this out. Great I've, idea. I have made this. Say the lamp doesn't work, you're going to throw yep, it away. Exactly. All That's of the a first sudden, thing I thought of. It becomes a plant holder. It becomes a cool little uh, planter. And it just has a little more character than just a regular plant sitting there. And this, you can ditch. Yeah, you're amazing. It's so much fun. And all of these three things were so inexpensive because I already had the stuff at home. How about this? Thank you, Paige. You're I welcome. am very impressed. Full instructions <laughs> on this DIY. Visit hallmarkchannel.com, everybody.